Hi guys, welcome to yet another audio video. I'll be reading Genesis 37 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads thus, And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the lad was with the sons of Bilhah, and with the sons of of Zilpah, his father's wives, and Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Hear, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright, and behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf and his brethren said to him shalt thou indeed reign over us or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us and they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words and he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is the dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the same. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in Sheshem. And Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Sheshem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, Here am I. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren and with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him out to the vale of Ebron, and he came to Sheshem. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren, tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departed hence, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in Dothan. And when, he, and when they saw him afar, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into some pit, and we will say some evil beast had devoured him, had devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands, to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass, when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked. And behold, a company of Ishmaelites 
came from Gilead with their camels, bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh. And his brethren were content. Then there passed the Midianites, merchants, merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. And Reuben returned unto the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes. And he returned unto his brethren and said, The child is not, and I, whither shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat and killed the kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. And they sent the coat of many colors. And they brought it to their father and said, This have we found. No, no, whether be thy son's coat or not. And he knew it, and said, It is my son's coat, an evil beast hath devoured him. Joseph is without doubt rent in pieces. And Jacob rent his clothes, and put sackcloth upon his loins, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to, com to comfort him. But he refused to be comforted, and he said, For I will go down into the grave with my son mourning. Unto my son mourning, sorry. Thus his father wept for him. The Midianites sold him to Egypt unto Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard. Alright guys, so there are many revelations within this chapter and there are many things to highlight as well personally by myself all right so i'm going to highlight the fact that joseph told his father and his brethren his second dream the second dream he had which was basically the same it meant the same thing but it came in a different form and he shared his dream with both his father and his brothers, and his father rebuked him. And this just goes to show that when God has purpose over your life, sometimes others just won't understand it. And that is okay. That is quite fine because no one truly understands God's ways. Because his ways are not the ways of men. His ways are divine. And so we mere mortals cannot understand God's way. We cannot understand the plans that God has for us. We will not understand in certain seasons and in certain stages. We will only understand only when it is revealed in its complete nature to us. And so this just goes to show that whenever somebody had, whenever you have a calling on your life, whatever God tells you that your purpose is and that his plan is for you, you should act upon it and act accordingly and be not afraid of the plans that he has for you and for the future that he has planned for you. Stand boldly within the purpose that God has placed in your life. Okay? Alright, so those are my few words to you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification, and share with a friend. Okay? Share with a friend. I'm looking forward to a discussion with you guys. I want to see what you have to say. I want us to grow together in Christ. Okay, have yourselves a blessed day.
बाय